Hey guys, Nocturne here. Now, before this episode starts, I just wanted to take the opportunity to say a few things, given the momentous occasion and all. So yes, here we are. Finally, episode 100. It has been quite a long road to get here, and if you guys can believe it, it's actually been nine months since I first uploaded episode zero, way back in November. November 8th, for those curious. Um, so, like I said, it's been quite a long road to get here. All sorts of ups and downs in the story, all sorts of ups and downs with the uh, the LP itself, uh -huh. but it has been a heck of a lot of fun, and I couldn't have done most of this stuff without you guys. I mean, yes, I, I could have literally played the game without you guys, but it wouldn't have been anywhere near as much fun without having all of you guys start to join the adventure and have you guys along for the ride. It's been a lot of fun, and a couple more things before we go. I just wanted to say, make sure you stick around for at the end of the episode. Got a couple more things, a little special stuff. And the last thing, this is a special one-hour episode, so you guys might want to find a nice comfy position. Go pop yourself some popcorn. Maybe if you're old enough, go grab yourself a beer or two. I mean, it is an hour, so maybe three. <laughs> so anyway, go ahead, kick back, relax, and enjoy the 100 episode special. I will see you guys again at the very end, so... And now back to our episode already in progress. Okay guys, once again, back where we were last time when we picked up. Hoping not to lose all our stuff this time, or come to the sad realization that we've just lost all our stuff. <sighs> kind of getting tired of making buckets. <laughs> You'd think they'd be that thing that you make once and you don't ever really need them again. Not for me, it seems. <laughs> it's the third one I've had to make in... I don't know, it, it feels like as many days. Uh, so, something I want to point out. You guys might notice, there's all this. Ugh, forgot to put that away when I was at the cave base. But this... Turns out I actually had those sitting in my chest back at the cave base. I, I didn't even know I had put them away. I had completely forgotten, I guess. seemed like it needed light. I had completely forgotten I'd put them up, and holy, it does go back further. Okay, that's rock, not a creeper said. Yes, I had forgotten I'd put them away, so I decided I'd bring them and see if we can't get some damn vengeance this time. Yeah, on all you little pieces of crap. You're gonna die, guys. You're gonna go boom. Like your favorite little green friend up there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh. I'm gonna leave that in the wall now, since uh, I know how readily I am at losing things anymore. <sighs> I do still love seeing that in the wall every time I walk by, though. That's nice. Um, anyway, the gunpowder you saw in my inventory just now I actually had to go back to the house after all, as I keep dying with full stacks of wheat in my inventory, so I keep running out of it nice and fast. <laughs> so I had to go back and harvest the wheat farm and gather up every last piece of wheat that was at the house. Oh, this is going to be fun. They've got the height advantage. Alright. And that is why we carry diamond swords now. <laughs> Whew. <sighs> okay. Well, wow, that was spectacularly failful. <laughs> Okay, good. Not above my head. That's a positive plus thing. Oh, they're trying to drop down and get me. Go figure. Evil mobs. Ah, 
There's another one. Wow. But the zombies in this cave. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Nice aim. No. Just no. If I mention how much I love my diamond sword. <laughs> Whew. Okay, this is nice and convoluted. <laughs> Jeez. Although I do recognize this. This is where the uh, loops around. Okay. Does this loop around too? More zombies. Jeez. Creeper, creeper, creeper. Hi, creeper. How you doing? Don't you dare come anywhere near me. Oh! <laughs> How about... Holy shit, running away. Three, four, four creepers. That's enough to make me run. And run and run and run and run and run. And it looks like he's going to continue following me. Bad creeper. He didn't drop any gunpowder either. Bad creeper. Where's your friend? There we go. <sighs> I feel slightly more vindicated now that I'm actually capable of killing a creeper with a sword again. <laughs> Although I suppose it was my fault for choosing to run around with iron all the time. Swords and all. Okay, so I can take my mind off this a little bit. Try and... I thought I saw something moving back there. Okay. Apparently the game says no. <laughs> I'm not allowed to talk about anything else. I guess it's very selfish like that. <laughs> yes, this is most definitely a enormously convoluted cave. Wow. Hey, that's the first spider I've heard in a long time. Wow! <laughs> At the creepers in this place. I'm starting to wonder if, you know, given the size of this place, and uh, again, going back to Good's 404 challenge, I know he talked about a lot of people were mentioning that the more cave you light up, the more dangerous the remaining cave gets because there's fewer and fewer dark spots for mobs to spawn in each chunk. Especially during the daytime. And, uh... I kind of thought that was silly, you know. Oh, pfft. Yeah, I know, but there's still a mob cap and all this kind of stuff, and there's no way that... That... That would even be remotely possible. Come here and die, please. Thank you. And, uh, well... I, I'm starting to rethink my position. Holy shit, at the creepers and skeletons and zombies and everything else in this cave! <laughs> I'm freaking out a little! <sighs> More skeletons! <sighs> Die on my sword! <sighs> Okay, I picked that up. That's good. <sighs> Something tells me there's no more spawners to be easily found in here, but... The mob spawn right in here is just insane! <sighs> dead ends. Once again, happy about finding dead ends.
to relax again. That's a nice big chunk of iron. Whew. Okay. So, it was down here that there were so many creepers and, s and skeletons and whatnot. So I'll have to find out in just a few seconds. Okay. What was down here, exactly? Ah, it just goes, uh, right down there, doesn't it? <laughs> oh. Into nothing. You know, this is the kind of nothing bottomless area, or bottom area, that you'd almost expect to see water or lava flowing down into. Hmm. Well, since I'm here and there's not much else to do in the area, I'm gonna go ahead and mine this up real quick. Guys, I think this game is seriously trying to kill me. All I wanted was some coal. But no! There's to be freaking rivers of lava under it. Alright, never mind. I don't need that coal. <laughs> I'll get other coal. I don't need you. Blech. All right. What's still dark? <laughs> Other than everything. What's the nearest dark, I should say? Hmm. That's a big spot. Okay, good. Hey, zombies. What's up? Wow, how did that miss? Alright, let's see if we can illuminate the situation a bit. No. Get out of my way. There we go. Knew I could reach it. So, once again, comments I have received recently. Someone was asking, I think it was, uh, oh, I'm going to mess up your name, I hope you forgive me, uh, what is it? Black Star Moon 13, Blue Star Moon 13, I can't remember the color, but it was a color, star 13, and a moon. Um, once again, sorry for not completely remembering your name 100%, but your comment, you were wondering... Depending on how giant this place is, whether or not we might actually end up connecting up to some of the caves we actually ended up running across while we were building the tunnel from spawn. And honestly, I didn't think so at first, you know, way back when we first started this chapter, but I gotta say, one, once again, I'm starting to reconsider my position on these things because um it, it doesn't end it just doesn't end <sighs> and holy just wow at the drops come here come here come here yeah keep going keep nah, that's close enough <laughs> Well, I think I'm going to leave that alone. Let's see if I can't come to it another way, as it seems like there's plenty of openings that reach it already. Just as soon as I see what's up here. A dead end would be nice. No, I didn't think so. Never what you want. <laughs> Unless, of course, you want more cave. Which, well, okay, I guess I did want more cave. <laughs> Not what I wanted to do. Tired of taking, like, suicide level fall damage. Oh, well, what do you know? I think. No. I was going to say, I think this is the part that wraps around to where we were just looking, but... It doesn't exactly look like that.
That's a lot of freaking creepers down there. One, two, and a zombie. Wait. And a skeleton. Sneaky bugger. I should have known that was going to happen. Okay, no. Yeah, gotcha. Ah. Beat you at your own game. Where is this and why is there so much darkness that I didn't light up? Hmm. Oh, I'm confused. Again. <laughs> this cave does that to me. You know, I just remembered, there's, there's, um, another piece of the back cave that... Wow. That needs a torch. Oh. I think. Yeah, okay. Um, another piece of the back cave that goes way up that I think we're going to need to investigate. That... I'm wondering what that connects to now. Uh, it's it's pretty much right where I ended exploring with episode 96, in case you guys are wondering where it is I'm talking about. That last piece where I was talking about, you know, I hate to leave it all alone here and cut things off right in the... Uh, uh, a site like that really just ends any train of thought, doesn't it, guys? Just, just all that green and anger <laughs> coming right at you, wanting to get up and... Just hug you and just hi. Although I will say, with this many out here, it's almost next to impossible to miss. Almost. I think I missed a couple times there. Back. Hey, hey, hey. That was a cheap shot. And you know it. Okay. Food done. Hopefully I actually get to go through some of this wheat and, uh... Don't waste it all by dying, because that's gotten to be really annoying. Especially considering there is n almost no wheat in the cave base... No wheat in the house. And, well, this is basically all I've got on me. Available anywhere. I think I left maybe 20 pieces at the cave base. Which is really not a lot. Okay. I just remembered something. <laughs> Sorry for taking so long to remember that it's here. I get like that sometimes, guys. Forgive me. One seven. You can't just punch blocks anymore. <sighs> hmm. Well, hmm. Any iron nearby? I think we saw some. Hello, keyboard. Thank you. Um. Hmm. There's one. I'm sure there's another one near. Perfect. All right. Got them both. Nice. I guess I actually only need one. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> For whatever reason, I was thinking I needed two. It's like, I need to make shears to use that. Anyway, anyway, I will be right back once I finish smelting up a piece of this iron so we can go ahead and make some flint and actually set off our TNT. So, see you guys in a second. Okay, that didn't take nearly as long as I thought. I swear, I always get that backwards. <laughs> Alright, I already placed it while I was waiting for things to smelt. And I think we are ready... ...to give this a shot. 
I think that's good enough, right? I've never really set TNT off with fire. Yep, that was good enough. Yeah! Love that sound. When I'm the one making it, of course. Not when it's a creeper. <laughs> I felt good. Alright, let's get this off my bar before I decide to set random things on fire. Um, thank you. Oh, would you... Fine, don't jump. See if I care. I'm wondering how many zombies are right behind me. Wow. Okay, what kind of fall damage did you just... Keyboard. Thank you. You know, it used to be just the mouse that was bad, but... Now the keyboard's being stupid. Really, I'm going to have to just break down and buy that set off Amazon, even though it's not on sale. Because I know not dealing with that aggravation all the time will be a big plus for me, and you guys are, won't have to he hear me talk about it anymore. Ah, uh, thought I was going to get him and be all sneaky-like. Okay. This is a seemingly well-lit area. Where are you guys coming from? Hmm? Hmm. Right? Ah. That's a hell of a lot of zombies. I guess I should have explored over here first. Jeez. <laughs> Alright. No, 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 no. Please make it... Crap, 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 crap. <sighs> At least the Iron Arbor proved to be worth having this time. <laughs> I just knew I was going to miss that jump. Not entirely sure if that was lag or me just being slow on the uptake with hitting the spacebar. Shit. <laughs> I hate that sound. That's a lot of creepers and zombies. <sighs> you know, I think I just need to stop saying that's a lot of fill-in-the-blank mob here. And just get used to the fact that this place is going to be balls to the wall insanity! <sighs> <sighs> need to go back for my workbench. Need some food. Leaving this all lit up makes me all nervous. Especially because of this part up here, which fortunately was a dead end. <laughs> you sound like you're right on my head. <sighs> Alright. A little more food. <sighs> okay. Not doing too bad this time. Lost a bit of armor in that little bit right there, but I'm okay with that. It's kind of what it's there for. To absorb damage for you. Be a sponge like that. Wow. I just noticed. I've already gone through an entire stack of arrows. <laughs> and I'm usually pretty good about going back and collecting the ones that I missed with. Um... I'm going to go this way. This has got me curious now. Plus, I really don't want to deal with that creeper at the moment. Although, thinking back, there were like five creepers down here, so... If I'm trying to avoid creepers, this is probably not the... way I want to go. Right? <laughs> right. Uh, that I feel better about that. It's an easier escape. For situations like this when I need to run like hell. Run away, run away, run away. Find a safe place to cower and hide. I mean, come up with a plan to kick ass. <laughs> Where are you at? 
Where'd you go? There you are. There we go. See? Came up with a plan, and I uh, kicked ass. Woohoo! Now, let's get back to it. So many bones filling up my inventory. More skeletons. Yay! <laughs> let's see if the same plan works this time. Oh, here's open. Here's open. He's coming. He's coming. All right, Skelly. Stay put. I'm on my way. Getting in position now. How about you? Excellent. Good job. It's like we've done this before. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can get more than two steps this time. I see more gold, that's nice. Alright, that's done. And, wow. Huh. Nothing in here either. That, I gotta say, is really surprising. <sighs> I almost wish I was carrying my watch on me just so I could know if it's day or night, because I don't know if you guys are aware, but the spawn mob rate in caves goes up during the day because, well... They lost the entire surface to spawn in, in every chunk. So, it's almost worth it to carry a compass around to know just how dangerous it's going to be if you're getting ready to set off on a spelunking adventure. Because if it just turned day, well, you might want to hold off until it turns night. Because, one, of the whole spawn thing I just told, talked about, and two, well, why waste the daylight? I'm sure there's something out there you can work on. Hmm. Okay, not what I thought it was. Water. Go away. Thank you. Ah. Yep. That's where I was mining the coal, and the game tried to kill me again. You will cave and start trying to kill me. Kill you. Yeah. At least we got some C418 music to try and calm us down a little bit. <laughs> kind of curious where the spiders are, though. Especially since, like I said, I haven't heard them in a long time. I'm starting to run out of the stockpile of string I brought down into the cave base with me. I'm down to, like, I don't know, 12. I recall having 30 at one point. Just to give you guys an idea of just how much... string I've gone through. Well, I do like that sound. Um, it does have me feeling kind of WTF. Where are you? <laughs> How did you manage to get wherever it is that you just... this game anymore. It's scary. <laughs> Alright. Not going back for the workbench this time. Just going to make a new one. That's why I carry around all these logs. Well, looks like I got my wish. I'm finally using all the wheat. <laughs> I just hope I don't use it all. <sighs> Remembering to take it with me this time. Hooray. <sighs> okay. Well, before the creeper exploded in my face, I was getting ready to laugh at the skeleton for being so pathetic he died in the smallest amount of lava I have ever seen pour out of a lava fall in this game. <laughs> Kind of curious where that creeper was. Yeah, so we finally connected to that spot up there that I decided to leave alone. That's nice. That's 
looks like there's a lot behind this gravel. Yep. <laughs> I win, I win, I win. <laughs> Looks like I might have to head back soon and uh, make us some new armor, jeez. And, you know, for a legitimate reason this time, not because the game despawned all my stuff. <laughs> Stupid... Yes, I'm still a little upset about that. I still can't believe he changed it from five minutes to two minutes. I mean, was he getting so many complaints that, oh, hey, not, you know, it's, it's really way too easy when you give us five minutes to get back to our stuff when we're halfway across the world. You really should cut it down to two to, you know, add to the challenge. Are you people crazy? <sighs> I don't know, maybe he cut it to two minutes because of beds. Something to balance out the game, but... What about those of us who don't want to use beds, Notch? Hmm? Did you think about that? No, I don't think you did. We should start a petition or something. Return the five-minute block limit. Probably will nothing come out of it, but uh, sneaky game. Let's find out what this was before another creeper falls on my head. Looks pretty significant to me. Yeah, yeah I'd call this significant. And here I thought it was just a pile of gravel that had fallen from just some gravel-shaped hole in the ceiling. Wow. <laughs> this cave just... It... <laughs> I don't know what else there is to say about this cave that I haven't said or half a dozen times already. It just... It keeps going, it never ends, it just... But even still, it is all the more awesome for it. And all the diamond waiting for us in the back cave. <sighs> you know, speaking of calling that the back cave, I think this piece of the cave needs a name too, and I'm gonna leave that one up to you guys. What kind of sp <sighs> Just don't freak me out like that. <laughs> What kind of spatial direction do you think would be would best describe this piece of the cave that we're in now? Um, go ahead and uh, I guess vote up your favorite if you don't feel like coming up with one of your own from the comments below, and the top one will win. And if there's some ties or anything, I'll go ahead and decide the tiebreaker myself. But I'm kind of curious what you guys come up with. There we go. Much, much better. Evil water. I'm going to completely blame my last death on water. <laughs> it wasn't me being really bad at the game. No, no. It wasn't the creeper that snuck up on me. It was the water. And you guys know it. <laughs> if that hadn't have been there, I would have seen the creeper. or The creeper would have fallen on my head a lot sooner. <laughs> I don't know. It was all... It was all the water's fault, and all water must die. I just noticed I need some coal, so I'll be back in a second. Okay. 37 pieces of coal should last me quite a while for now. So, let us get back to it. As there is so much more left of this place. Pretty sure I left this over here unfinished, didn't I? Yes, yes I did. Wow. That's kind of creepy. It's like a staircase inviting you to death. Come on in. There's nothing wrong down here. Except when a creeper decides to spawn and just kind of stand here and wait for you. Ugh, creepy. Yes, game. I'm staring at it. Getting ready to head over there. I wish whatever was walking on dirt would be quiet. <laughs> Uh, speaking of creepers, given that it's not making anything but the walking on dirt sound. Uh, that's probably what it is. Hooray! 
for creepers. <laughs> Hmm. Almost done here? Or does this spiral around up to whatever was walking on dirt? Okay, I was kidding about the spiraling up game. <laughs> you can stop doing that now. Yes, it was a creeper. Yes, it was a creeper. Oh, I hate it when I'm right about things like this. Hey! Get out here! <laughs> cheater. Well, I don't think I guess he's a cheater. You know, just chicken. That that works pretty well. Okay, no surprises. Yet. <sighs> and done. Nice. Okay, that's grass outside. We're almost near the service. I, I, I gotta know. How far up are we? 66? We're above ground level. Holy hell, guys. Alright. Where are we? I gotta know. Oh, crap. One second. Let me finish this up real quick. Then we'll... Never mind. The game decided to uh, help me out. Turns out... We're... Staring at a creeper. <laughs> Hi. Two of them. Sneaky. Ah. Uh, I think I know where we are, guys, and mind blown at the size of this freaking cave. And given where we are, I think this thing is actually going to connect to the caves we found when I was digging out the tunnel from underwater and... Yeah, all that stuff. Well, I'm pointing over there because that's where I think we are right now. Um, I right, run out. Bound to be a surprise creeper or two. No. Well, I mean, those guys, but... Okay, you guys happen to notice there's a birch tree right here? Um, you do remember that when I started this game, there's the surprise creeper, that it was long, long before birch trees were even added to the game, and that we actually had to go wandering and exploring way, way out just to find one? That's how freaking far out we have come. Just... Mind... Alone at the size of this one cave. Yes, my world is hollow. It's official. It's just absolutely official. There, there is nothing else in this game but cave. Wow. Okay, I thought I knew where we were. I thought that uh, Resurrection Station was right there. But it looks like we're even further away than that. Wow. Wow, wow. <sighs> Once again, wow. Alright, let's get up somewhere and see if we can't figure out exactly where we're at. Let me leave some torches to remind me of how to get back to this place. That's a really... No freaking way. No. No way. We did not walk that far. Do you guys see the torches on top of that? Do you guys remember the night we spent on top of a mountain and saw all those uh, skeleton riders? Or the, the, skeleton, the spider jockeys? No freaking way. That, no. That's not even remotely possible. <laughs> Alright, we gotta go check that out. I need to leave myself some breadcrumbs to find this place. In case it gets dark on us before I'm able to get back to the... Wow. Just... I have no words to describe this.
Oh my god, it is. It is. Remember when it was like, ooh, overhang, or ooh, cave? Cave always wins out? This is that cave! And skeletons died out here. Hmm. Skeletons are exactly what chased me out of this cave the first time. Surface spawner, perhaps? Hmm. Hmm. Eh. Okay. I was hoping to run into another skeleton. Wow. This place is awesome. Kind of wish we had the armor and whatnot to actually survive exploring this, because this is really kind of cool. It's almost like a, a pre-built mountain house. Smallest waterfall ever. <laughs> huh. I honestly cannot believe how far out we've come. Just from walking around in that silly little cave. Come on, make that jump. <laughs> How'd I get up there last time? Duh, oh, screw it. <laughs> oh my. Yes. Yes, it really is. I think this is one of those places I said that I wanted to come back to and visit. Not exactly what I had in mind, but... <laughs> oh, guys. We're back. <laughs> wow. Yeah. This is exactly it. That's where all the spiders and the skeleton... Or the, the spider jockey were. And then we wandered off that way. And that way and around that way. And... Things. <laughs> Whoa. This must be the ocean we ran across. Which suggests that the beach down there had some caves that I did want to come back to one day. And... Hmm. Should we hit them up or not? I do want to at least poke my head in and see if they connect. Or if I see a torch coming out of them that's like... Huh. That's just weird. <laughs> now, let's see, while we're walking over to the place where I believe there are some caves that may or may not connect, there's our entrance. Let me go ahead and see if I can actually talk about something since it's nice, calm, soothing music. We're outside and it's broad daylight. Um, Let's see. I guess first, you guys might remember a number of episodes back I was talking about how my mouse was acting up and it reminded me of Good's LP. And, or rather, and then speaking of that, it reminded me of Birthday Bash Weekend. And some of you guys are probably wondering, huh? How, how does that even remotely connect? And well, the little piece I forgot to leave out was the fact that what I was trying to get at was the fact that the way Good's mouse was double-clicking randomly, that's exactly what was happening to my mouse over SMP Weekend. And that's that's how those two related, just in case any of you were, you know, slightly confused. Small cave this way. Okay. I'm actually kind of surprised how quickly I managed to find my way back here. Although, then again, I guess just following the coastline is pretty easy to do. <laughs> um, something else I wanted to clarify about when I was talking about in episode 97 about wanting to get a hosted Linux server. This is still the same recording session that I started way back at the beginning of episode 98, so... I don't know how many episodes this has become already, but as I said at the beginning there... I still have yet to check the comments for 97, so I don't know if anyone's actually asked this yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and answer it preemptively, 
in, in my mind, after the fact, and in, as far as you guys will be concerned. But the, the reason I wanted to get a Linux server, a hosted server like that, and not just go to get a Minecraft specific and Minecraft only rented server is that I wanted the freedom to have like full control over the box. That I didn't want just some random shared hosted solution. Um, the server that my website runs on right now is a shared server and it's good enough because that's all it does, but for something that's going to be really nice big servers, something you know worth having a server of, I'd kind of like to have that control. So that's why I was saying that. And so for anyone who has or will end up suggesting I go with something like um, the name escapes me at the moment, but whoever it is that the spawn, or not the spawn, um, the shaft guys are always talking about and provide servers for to them. How did I miss that? I'm glad he had no way up to me. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Guess I know where we're going next. Seriously, how did I miss... Stop walking on dirt. Freaking me out, duck. Chicken thing. There he is. Wow, the iron. That's nice. No, not a dead end. Wow. Come on. Thank you. Your turn. There you go. Good boys. Lining up to die like you're supposed to. Well, I'm hoping this. <laughs> I'm hoping this ends pretty quickly so we can get back to the, the monstrosity that is the one cave of this world. Unless this one does end up connecting. It does not, okay. So we can get back to that one before night falls. Because I don't want to have to make that run at night. And if I do have to end up making that run at night, I might just go ahead and call this recording session good for today and pick up with you guys here in this cave tomorrow. Um, what you looking at? You know, speaking of uh, duck chicken things, there's another LP I was watching a long time ago. Don't remember... Ah, yes. The the recidivist dork, I believe, was her screen name. She had a pretty good thing going, but I, I don't know. I, she didn't stick with it very long. But she had this theory about ducks that I... Chickens. <laughs> they look like ducks. Except for the whole, you know, red thing under their bill. But she had this theory about chickens that I think is actually kind of spot on, and that they are actually spies for the evil mobs in this game. Because, I mean, you saw how that chicken just walked right up to the creeper and said, Hey buddy, what's up? I lured him here for ya. Or something, I don't know what he said. But just just how buddy-buddy those two were. You know, just, just, hey, what's going on? How you doing? Ah, yes. Chickens are hidden agents for the evil mobs in this game. So when you guys see them, don't ever feel guilty about taking them out. You are protecting yourself in the end. <laughs> and that is your public service announcement today from Nocturne Industries. If you see a chicken, kill it. Ha. <laughs> uh, okay, well, the moon has definitely just risen, so... As I said, I believe I'm going to cut off this recording session here, and... I will pick up with you guys again sometime tomorrow or the next day when I sit down to record. And we will pick it up from here. So, this has been Nocturne. I want to thank you guys for watching. I want to thank you guys for subscribing, commenting, and heck, even liking the videos. That's never really been an important thing to me, but 
for every one of you guys who does that, thank you. Um, so I will see you guys again when we pick up here in the next episode. See you guys later. Hey guys, welcome back after that brief break. This is me once again from the beginning of the episode talking to you again here at the end. Um, so I hope all of your minds are sufficiently blown after the revelation at the end of that of the episode you just saw. I know mine was when I was playing. I mean, you could certainly hear it in my voice. And the fact that I got completely speechless on multiple occasions. Anyway, um, I will be getting to that later. And as I said at the beginning of this episode, I have a few special things. And, well, first off, you might be wondering, what the... Why are you in the cave base? Weren't we just way out in the middle of nowhere at the exit to one of, one of the many exits of that giant cave? And yes, yes we were, but... Um, there's something that I had been putting off for far too long, and it's been a long time coming that I needed to just finally do this. For those of you who don't follow me on Twitter and haven't been checking the Chapter 8 Contest finalists um, comments section, I did finally announce the winner, so a big congratulations to Metal Pig. You did win. You won in, well, almost a landslide. Um, according to my count, you had 54 votes to Zion Steel's 18. So, again, all three entrants, all three finalists, rather, were really great. I loved all of them. But somebody had to win, and the people have spoken. Metal Pig, once again, congratulations. And on that note... Let's go check it out, now that we're actually here, in the CYO world, as you can see. So, let's head on in. And check this beautiful new base out. Or rather, this beautifully renovated base. So I know it's probably been a long time since many of you have even seen the look of this place, of Metal Pig's entry. And, um, well... It's, let me just finish my sentence first. It's probably been a while, so let's take a quick little tour. Um, what tripped me up in my head just now was I was going to say, if Metal Pig's alright with it, I might actually go ahead and include the download for his world so you guys can actually go ahead and check this place out all on your own. Now, you might notice, uh, depending on how well your memory serves, that some things have changed. Like back here, there used to be a very small bedroom. I took out the wall, um, extended the window, and I'm getting ready to work on something back here, but I'm saving that for a later episode. Uh, there are a few other places I took some creative... Uh, what is it? Creative... License, that's it. Some creative license and changed up a few things. Like the door that used to be here, um, this is a pretty safe base, so... I think it feels nicer just having this nice openness just right out into the the sanctuary up here in the cave base. Some place to come and sit in the water and contemplate life. Eh, that's enough contemplating for now, so let's go check out the rest of the things. You will notice that uh, everything here is exactly as it was. Now, I did have to do some creative editing when I was doing the copy-paste with MC Edit, because what I realized is that if I had just copy-pasted right in place, it would have clobbered the ch my chests, the chests that we hear are part of the world. So, I ended up having to copy these out, stick them out in that opening over there, paste his world in, and then cut mine from over here and paste them back. Far more detail than I'm sure you're interested in, but just to prove that everything is exactly as it was, Everything is still here, and I know some of you might be thinking that I might, may have been tempted that when I had a copy of everything over there, I might have been tempted to keep a few extras, but as you can see, everything is at the exact same place it was last time we were here, minus whatever it cost me to build out all this last time. Um, let's see. Something Metal Pig, I'm sure, will notice is I added some torches back to the floor only because it was looking really dark and, I don't know, I don't like dark floors. I don't want things spawning in my base. It's, it's just a personal thing. Something else over here. You guys might remember it was all logs down beneath. Now I decided to knock out the ones beneath the chests to help represent what was in here. So, got our dirt chest. 
And I also moved these. They weren't exactly symmetrical and it bothered me, so I fixed it. Um, still got all our nether goodies, our dirt, and thanks to Metal Pig's design, we've actually got an extra chest that we will certainly be filling with something one day. And now back here. Yes, I did these torches as well. Something interesting I found out with MC Edit that if you don't quite copy things correctly, it will not copy lava. So I ended up having to redo parts of the portal room. In addition to my own personal changes. Now, something that I do want to talk about before we step in here. The reason I ended up leaving the portal room out of the competition was that I had my own ideas for the portal room, things that I wanted to do with it, and wanted to do that myself, but what he did in here was so amazing that I tried to incorporate my ideas to what he did here, and um, well, let me go ahead and say it. I kind of wanted the idea of the portal being the gateway to the hell dimension, that by simply having the portal here, you were almost inviting hell into the real world, so there would be nether racks scattered about, it would sort of look like the nether was starting to infect the real world and starting to infect the base. So, with that in mind, you can see I tried to get a little bit of that style going. I think it worked out pretty well. Um, I might have kind of could have done a little more with the ceiling and the floors here, but I kind of like it. it. Consider it late stage infection. There's very little left. Hell is taking over. Ah! Anyway, this portal is noisy, and now that this is now officially CYO cave base. I think we are good here. There is one thing that I did want to show you guys based on Metal Pig's entry. So let us go ahead and hop out of here real quick. Jump into his world. I told him that if he did end up being the winner, there were some things he left on his entry that he wanted to be shared with all of you guys. So. Ah, yes. You'll notice I changed up the steel doors, too. Not a big fan of steel doors, although as impressed as I am with the redstone doing this. Something else that happened when I was copying it in, MC Edit did not copy the redstone, so this was broken. <laughs> anyway. Right out here. Actually, it's faster to go through the wall. Let me get a bed and make it morning. This is kind of annoying. I'll be right back. Okay, perfect. And the rain stopped too. So, out here, um, Metal Pig left me a couple notes. So, I wanted to share those with you guys as he said he wanted them shared as well. So, here we go. Trees are hard to grow small. Portal room might be tricky to build. Staircase did go into a small cave part. Should be fine. For grass, I recommend a downward torch lit spiral. Lava is evil. Killed me three times by trickery. I'm putting these up in the rain. Watch out for ninja pigs. So, there you go, guys. And there you go, Metal Pig. And with that, that is the end of the very first contest. And I hope you guys are looking forward to the next ones, in which, if we do end up deciding to do the... 1-8 SMP, then there will be those to look forward to as well. So, let me go ahead and cut here real quick. There is one more bit of special I wanted to share with you guys. Okay guys, I am back with the next little bit of special I wanted to share with you guys. So, as I said, I would be going back into just how massive, massive this cave has been. Um, I ended up updating the te Tectonicus map, Tectonicus, a little hard to say, and 
as you guys are hearing this, it should auto already be updated on the website, along with everything else on the website. Um, I know I've been a bit delayed in getting those things up to date, but anyway, everything is now up to date. I have actually added these signs to kind of give us a clue as to how things look here. So, if you will, this right here is the main entrance to the cave. The very first time we went into the cave, that's the way we got in. And if we zoom all the way in, you can see it's now mostly blocked due to our quick drop. And you can actually see the sign I used to make it show up on the map. So there's our wheat farm, our greenhouse. You'll notice uh, all the trees are gone. I chopped those all down. I needed, well, wanted to collect some more lumber since we were running out of the cave base. For reference, over here, this is the string factory. Right here past uh, the sand pit quarry thing. Now this sign, here's the house, here's the front entrance. Way out here, this is where we first popped out. Um, probably five or eight episodes back. I'm calling it entrance number one. And now, from episode 100 that you just got finished watching, this, this is where we popped out this latest time. I mean, just the sheer expanse of this cave. I mean, it goes from nearly coastline to coastline. Like, that entire piece of land, this, this entire strip is hollow. <laughs> just, it boggles the mind still. And I've had a week to sit and let it stew in my mind and finally make sense of it. <laughs> Now, one last thing I wanted to point out here is that for those of you who have been very astute in keeping up with looking at the map on the website, you may have already spotted this. But before I show it to you in game, I wanted to show you that had you been keeping up with the map, you could have noticed this yourself a lot earlier. Now, hmm, what does that look like? Look like, hmm. I don't know. <laughs> well, if we jump back into the game, I will show you guys in just a second. Okay guys, here we are. Right over here where I pointed out this strange looking piece of cobble. So, shall we find out what it could possibly be. Hmm, I don't know. It seems like it could be something similar to... Hmm. <laughs> I'm sure every single one of you already knows what it is, but let me be silly. And... Ooh! It's a spawner! <laughs> a zombie dungeon, to be exact. So... Something I definitely want to do while we're over here is find out if there's a green record in any chest that may or may not be over here. And as it's looking, there are no chests in this dungeon. Oh, there it is. Good. It's <laughs> about to say. So, why do I want a green record so bad? Because this game stole mine. And... I think a big goal I have for coming up in this series is to regain my stolen record. And yes, that probably means much caving, but again, you guys know how much I love being in caves. Especially every one of you who actually watched the entirety of episode 97. Again, I kind of apologize for it being so long, but I had a lot to say, so once again, I really hope as many of you as possible actually sat and watched that whole thing. All right, sand cleared, more or less. Oh, it's like there was a ceiling at some point. What's in the chest? Mm-hmm. Wow, that's cool, I guess. We can have the sapling, the sand. I'll take the saddles back since I did actually lose the two I got from the chest earlier in this chapter. The ones I got from the skeleton dungeon and then lost when the creeper killed me. <laughs> Speaking of that, 
I did want to kind of take back some of the things I said in this episode about all the grumblings I had. Um, now, if the time limit is still five minutes, then it was actually my fault for being so far away, as when I was editing, I noticed that once again, it took about four and a half, four forty-five, just to get back to the spot when I started recording again. So it's entirely possible that I did, yes, once again, take way, way too long to get back to my stuff, and it was my own fault. But anyway, enough of that. Um, this is the big celebration episode 100. I hope you guys have enjoyed everything, and wanted to thank you guys again for being around and being awesome, and all that stuff that I just thanked you for probably 10-15 minutes ago. And I look forward to and hope to have as much fun in the next 100. So, once again, this has been Nocturne, and I will see you guys again in the next episode.